this this video we're going to cover my favorite command it is the stats command it is the ultimate swiss army knife in your uh, in your splunk toolkit i highly recommend you start to learn it this video by itself is not going to even start to cover some of the features you can do with stats but these we're going to do a lot of uh, uh some of the real basic uh basic concepts you can use with stats to get uh, mathematical computations on your data. And so let's jump right into it. First thing we can do with it, we're going to go into our lame training. And I'm going to go, I'm going to grab all that. And I'm going to do a stats count by source IP. Very simple thing. I'm just going to count. I want to know how many different source IPs I have. And so it's going to count all the, the amount of occurrences of each source IP in this uh, time frame. And so we can see that 1001 occurred 12 times, 1010 occurred 16 times, etc. And so that's a very, very simple way of doing stats. Stats. We can also do something as simple as stats count. This will give me back the uh, number of events that occur. There are 1,012 events in my lame training index. I can do multiple dimensions here so I can do give me all the count of each unique source IP and destination IP pairing and so we can see that 101 went to 1010 one time 101 here went to 1018 two times and so we can we can just keep on layering it down if we want it there's no real limit to the amount of dimensions you can add I could just keep on adding stuff I could do a dest port here and now it's going to be the unique pairing of source IP to destination IP on port. Um, we can use a distinct count. I want to just know stats count. So I'm going to do this will give me the distinct number of source IPs. This means that I have 22 different source IPs. Let me just show you one really cool trick if you want to be able to know because source IP is the stats is condensing some of the results you're getting back so if I want to be able to see those I just use the values command and I'm going to put in source IP here and it will then show me what those 22 are so I can see there's 22 fields and here's what they are if I want to make sure notice how this comes back as values col uh, parentheses source IP so if I want to change that I could do and I can just do an as command and give myself something new. And so now I have, it's named here, unique source IPs. So if you want to know what's disappearing, values is a great way of helping you find those things. So I now know using the DC command that I have 22 unique source IPs in this, uh, in this index. I can also do the average, now we're not going to do source IP because that doesn't make any sense, bytes in. I can go see, it's going to add up all my bytes in field and give me the answer. So I can quickly find bytes in. I can do, give me the min bytes, max bytes, and the range. If I run that, I can see the smallest amount of bytes in the largest amount of bytes in and the range, which should be this number minus this number, and it is. So it tells me my range, my max, and my min. I can also do mean, variance, so I get my average bytes in, and the amount of variance there exists between all the uh, the bytes in fields. I can also do first and so this here will give me the the first and it's going to look for the very first, the or in this case, the oldest time and the earliest time. It's going to return it back in epoch time, but 
that, that'll work there. Um, and so you can use min, max, you can use first, last, average, variance. There's just a lot of different options here. And so you can do a lot of mathematical understanding of your data just using the stats command. Uh, I hope this is helpful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.